excuse my absence, I've been very sick. Um, there was a lot of videos I needed to edit and everything, and it was taking a lot in my power just to work. Uh, I had a very nasty head cold. I'm on medication now. You probably hear me. I'm still a little nasally. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to talk about, but this particular one I felt wouldn't be long. I wanted to get it out. I want to talk about it. Truth, justice, and the American way. Now, I've heard some things. Uh, there's actually someone I even spoke to before. And uh, a couple years ago, he was an artist for DC Comics. And he mentioned something about they were losing the rights or that was becoming a public saying. So they were trying to do something and change that slogan. Now, what's funny is, as you'll see on the screen at some point, because I don't know when I'm doing this, they did actually change his slogan around the time the guy told me about it, about, I think it was like several months later. I just remember we were talking about it. We were connecting over like Green Lanterns and stuff. And I talked about, I always joked about how my favorite Green Lantern uh, being Kilowog will actually show up in everything Green Lantern. So I'm never disappointed because you can't do Green Lantern technically without doing Kilowog. And if you think about it, even in the DCEU, the Green Lantern we got to see in the Snyder Cut, besides the old ancient dude, the modern day one was Kilowog. That's how awesome it is to have Kilowog. So, we were talking about that and monstrous kind of characters and big, beefy, and all that. We, we ended up talking about Superman. Because um, we were actually having a disagreement, but a friendly disagreement about... Man of Steel and Superman ending uh, General Zod when he was like, he could have found another way. And that's the same thing that, um, why can't I think of, uh, Joe Quesada said, which I laugh because everyone forgets in Superman 2, uh, he also ended Zod because he could, not because he had to, he already won, he could. And Lois Lane made a joke about a quip on pain in the neck, and he let a guy fall to his death after he crushed Zod's hand and threw him down the hole. But you know, Snyder's one is the murder one, right? After they laughed about it. Anywho, that's how we went back and forth. Not that I don't love the original Reef Superman, that's not the point. The point is, I was pointing out that there's a little hypocrisy in the situation. So he says something along the lines of, you want to hear something really hypocritical? They're trying to change truth, justice in the American way. I said, what do you mean? He says, you know, don't say nothing. But in the next year or so, they're going to try to change it. Now, you would think I'm talking about truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. There was one before that. It was like truth, tolerance, and something, and justice. I'll, like I said, I'll put it on the screen. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to say who it was uh, for the sake that he asked me not to. And he could be a bunch of people, so I will never say who it was. However, I then heard rumblings about, after it went back to Truth, Justice, American Way, I heard rumblings again about it going to change again. Uh, then I seen that Ethan Van Skyver, um, ah, I can't remember the other channel. There's another channel that I follow periodically uh, is a guy and his wife. Ah, they mentioned it too. And they're talking about copyright stuff and I cannot remember their names. That sucks. Anyway. Um, sorry, it's probably my head cold messing with me. They ended up having it where now it's truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. Funny enough, I don't think that's a bad slogan. I actually think that's nice for Jonathan to say. Not for Superman. And what they keep trying to do is this thing of, well, Superman's a citizen of the world. No, he's, a, he's an American. He is an immigrant who came down. He was raised in Kansas. He's an American. 
being an American does not mean that I only care about our plights. You can still care about the world and still be proud of where you come from. A lot of people do it all the time. So, why was this newsworthy? Because here's the other part I have an issue with. I remember when we have Superman versus the Elite, which was whatever happened to Truth, Justice, and the American Way. When was the last time, because there are people who are making a huge deal about this, and don't get me wrong, it's virtue signaling at its finest. They did this to get news reports, to get buzz, and to keep getting talked about in the news media, because in all honesty, manga is annihilating Western comics. Now, <clears throat> some people might go, oh yeah, you're just you're one of those YouTubers. Well, look on the screen. This was at a five below. I don't see the comic books there anymore. I used to get some rando comics because they'd be like five bucks and you get like a little pack. I asked them, I said, what happened to the, the five packs? They're like, we don't sell those anymore. Manga seems to do better. I went to three different five belows. I only took a picture of one when I noticed the pattern. There was like a coloring book or something with Black Panther. There was like a Spider-Man little book thing here. They weren't comic books, though. One of them had an encyclopedia, but I kept seeing manga, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia. Um, I saw one of them had... Uh, it was Naruto, I think. So I'm sitting here like, that's crazy. So I showed it to my guy watching DC Fandom, and I was actually starting to get a little bit sick even during that time, which is part of the reason why I didn't cover DC Fandom. Also, last time I did it, no one really cared, so. I was like, ah, putting all that work in, <laughs> nobody seemed to really care what I had to say. So, that's fine. They're doing this, I'm like, why did you make this headlines? Why is the media making it such a big deal? Well, it's because this is the only way they can stay relevant Honestly, you got Jonathan Kent protesting and, and, and picketing about saving the planet and he's becoming an activist and he's trying to find himself. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying global climates is bad or whatever. However, how you feel about global warming is however you feel. You're making Superman as activist, I guess, to be with the youth. And I always see an artist or a writer always say this. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm before in a previous video, I'm a fan of Tom Taylor. At least the stuff I've read of his, I've enjoyed. Um, I'm enjoying that, that Marvel thing. I definitely enjoy DC's Deceased. And, you know, Injustice, I want to actually get the whole thing. Fantastic. Why is Superman picketing? Now, I know you're probably asking, or you're probably like, well, geek, uh, everyone has to be represented. Okay, so let's say I take the comic book and turn him into an orangutan. There's gonna be someone who thanks me and is like, man, I'm appreciative of this character being an orangutan. No matter what changes or something you do, there's always a person out there. The, uh, what is that, the internet 404 rule? There's always something out there, or whatever it's called. Here's my issue. If you're going to sit there and you want to be an activist, most activists, if they had Superman's powers or any form of powers, would probably do more than just pick it. And we've seen enough evidence to show that. So if you want the world to start to change and you're now a hard leaning person and yes, Jonathan Kent is showing... Look, you, you, you love it or hate it, Jonathan Ken is definitely showing he is a left-leaning kind of guy. Why doesn't he just go, listen, he already defied the army, then he had handcuffs to show solidarity. I'm like, or you could have just been like, no, this is what you're going to do or else. Why don't you just make it, why don't you just go all the way out? Why don't you just make him the full villain? Just have him take over. Why not? I don't, this is so dumb because they know people are going to talk about it. They want to make the right people angry. 
I want you to think about something. Anyone who reads Superman comics, and I am one of those people who has. Superman is one of my tops. Tell me the last time you remember Superman in a comic saying, this is truth, justice, in an American way. Because I sure don't. I mean, is Jonathan going to sit there and go, truth, justice, and a better tomorrow? Yeah. Like, no. So what are we doing here? This feels like, virt all this stuff doesn't feel progressive to me. It feels like it's just a consistent virtue signal after virtue signal after virtue signal to get people to argue because they know these kind of changes to a character and these kind of things, when you do them, are going to get a reaction. And don't act like you're like, I can't believe people didn't like this thing. I've had people, like I said, I know people as a part of the letter community. Even they're like, this feels a little, bleh, I don't know, it just don't feel, it don't feel pure. It would have been better if you just had Jonathan kiss the guy, or the guy kiss Jonathan, or them organically get together in the comic without announcing it. It'd be like, oh, wow, Jonathan's bi. No, but you gotta make a big spectacle out of it. You gotta have him come out of the whole thing. Same with Tim Drake. You're hinting, hinting, and then you make a big spectacle out of it. Then you get upset when people who have been fans of Tim Drake this whole time, and then a bunch of people who've been shipping him to be bisexual with characters and pushing him to do this, even though they found things and saying, well, it was always this way or it was always implied. No, I'd rather see you actually show things. It's about show me, don't tell me. But then you act shocked when people get upset because you take a staple of a character or something that's about a character, like I use with spoiler, and you make a change. Now, these are their characters. They can do whatever they want. I am not offended that Jonathan Kent is bisexual. I'm actually completely okay with it. What I And it was handled better than Iceman. What I don't like is it doesn't feel like they're doing it for representation. It feels like they're doing it to have the character to, to get a news feed. I haven't heard Jack about Tim since this whole coming out thing of Jonathan. And that's one of my major problems I have with Marvel and DC all the time. And this is what I want these people who keep swearing, oh, everyone's thanking me. There's a bunch of people thanking me. They're the important people. Iceman, I don't think, went to 15 issues. Did it even go to 10? Was that a good thing now? The character, from what I understand and the things I've seen, is pretty much in the background now. And Iceman has awesome abilities and stuff, but because you made it all about his identity, his sexual identity, now no one cares. How long is it going to be before they take uh, Superman, Clark Kent, bring him back, things happen, and then Jonathan gets pushed to the background or they start having Jonathan date a woman or they start having doing these things. Like, this is my problem. If you're going to be all in, then be all in. But stop this whole, we got to keep doing it. The truth, justice, and, and the better tomorrow. Like I said, I actually like the slogan. I know some people might call me crazy. Some people might think it's, it just sounds hopeful. But I want that to be Jonathan's slogan. But no, they're going to do it because they're going to wipe the other one away. Like I said, from what I hear, they lost the rights to that thing or something about copyrights, whatever. Even as Skyver and them talked about it, whatever. They mentioned about Superman becoming gay or bi. Now he is. And if you want, re and see, people keep going, well, we need representation. I need someone to look like me. Your hero, sh matter of fact, you know what? That's going to be a separate video. I'm just going to put it like this. Don't fall. I don't care if you're for it or against it. Don't fall for these companies that try to tell you that this is, they're doing this for solidarity. They're doing it to make headlines because it comes on the news and they're hoping that it gets buzzed. But at the end of the day, I want you to go back and look at how many characters they have pushed to Marvel and DC about being gay, bi, you know, lesbian, trans, anything. And this is someone, and this is also a partial complaint because I want more Dreamer. <laughs> and I'm very agitated about that. 
but we're not going to talk about that right now. And look at how long they gave these characters a push from my favorite character that uh, came out that's a part of the letter community, which is pretty much North Star. I just think that character is cool. It has a lot of interesting stuff and there's a lot of potential in that character. It is a speedster and everything. And I want you to look at Enole, who is another one who I fell in love with. I think I'm saying his name right. A-N-O-L-E. I want you to look at these characters when they were pushed. See how long and look what happened to them. Are you seeing them constantly being represented? Are you seeing them in the in their, their stratosphere? Are you seeing these things being there? Or are you seeing these stories go swept away? So when they do these kind of things, I need you to remember, this isn't about something. This is about to get people angry. This is about to get people buzzed up. And I feel like this is it too. Because... The American way, they're, they're trying to, it's almost like they're trying to erase the idea of what super, Superman and these characters represent. But at the same time, he's not Captain America. He's not wearing an American flag on his shirt. And does, honestly, think about it. That slogan, does it matter if Superman's still doing Superman things? And can we please have Jonathan do Superman things again? I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on it, how you feel about it, how does it treat you. This is Geek Protagonist. You stay safe, you stay healthy, stay real, and I'll see you.